Science is like the perfect TV series. Um, there's always a new exciting episode around the corner. After a long series of trials and error, one thing finally thinks that has found a solution to the problem. And then the first question that I ask myself is, cool, but now what's next? In science, possibilities are endless and one can, can't simply get bored. Hi, I'm Mir Macquerquez and I lead the lab of uh, genome plasticity and engineering at the Max Perutz Labs. My research focuses on transposons, pieces of DNA that can move from one location to another in genomes. By moving DNA around, transposons transfer genes between genomes and can alter genomic information. Moreover, the natural ability of transposon can be used to artificially modify genomes for basic research and medicine. In my lab, we want to study the mechanism that transposon use to mobilize DNA in nature and exploit this information for the development of uh, novel genome engineering technologies. When I was finishing high school, I thought I would like to become a book author because I could exercise my creativity and imagination every day. And the first scientific meeting I went to, I met a biotechnologist and I realized how much creative thinking and imagination also goes into the science. For example, uh, imagining how molecules work uh, in a test tube without being able to see them. Um, and then reading scientific papers, I realized there's always a story to tell, not only about how a scientific idea is born, but also about how molecular processes work. And that's exactly when I realized that becoming a scientist is something I wanted to do. I love reading detective stories, so probably in a different universe, I will be a de detective who loves to gather information and verify information to understand exactly how a series of events uh, occur. Uh, in this universe, I feel like I'm doing something very similar as scientists, but the biggest advantage is that molecules don't mind if I follow them all the time with a microscope.